I don't know y'all, so I don't know if I love you, but I appreciate y'all. And I'm sweating, cause I'm hot. It's hot and I don't have an AC. I ain't living like this no more. When I get big, when I get famous, I ain't living like this no more. I'm gonna have an AC in every room, but I still love the world, so I'm not gonna waste it though. You know, only when I'm home and not in every room when I'm home, you know, just the room that I'm in. And you know, my kids, they know whatever when I have kids, but then, Directing is hard and honestly it's hard to do all of this like I wrote the story I wrote the script I am financing it like I spent a lot of money on um, equipment even though it might not even show at the end of the day but you know what I'm mean, gonna do something like that because I'm trying to be positive I'm really trying to be positive, positive. so um Directing is just hard. It's not something that I wanted to do. That's why I wanted a partner, but you know, that's When you're working with a partner on your project, you're always gonna have to give 110% more I mean regardless if you're working, you know by yourself on it um, You're giving 110% and that person might just only be giving like a good 5 to 10% and This is what I've noticed when I've worked with partners. So this time I'm shooting for stars by myself, you know, when people want to start working with me, they don't have to show me that they really committed with the shit. You know what I'm saying? Committed with the shit. So, this right here, what I was talking about, is the directing portion of it, like some of it, which is making um, the shot list. So, it's hard for me, but I'm learning how to do it. Like, I just had to like teach myself a lot of the things because I haven't taken a directing class at Brooklyn College yet. But, um, I did take a production class. And in production, they kind of showed us how to do our own movie from scratch. So I'm taking the skills I learned from there, the skills I learned from YouTube, the skills I learned from the internet, and just winging it. On the low, I'm winging it. But let's see how it turns out. So tonight, I'm going to try to finish the shot list. It's kind of difficult because from here, I'm going to try to let you guys take a look at it. Um, give me a second. So this is basically how you, well this is my interpretation of how you're making a shot list. So like this one is extreme long shot, medium close up. And then this is the parts that I don't want to have that extreme long shot, that little jigga jigga part. So that's how I do it. If I want like a piece that doesn't need like a whole scene, but I just want a little piece to be that, I do it like this, like the, hold on. This little close up piece is just for, you know, this piece. And that's how I've been doing it. It's a toughie, but it's totally worth it. I didn't want to do it in the beginning. Oh man, I forgot to freaking plug in. I forgot to plug in <laughs> the mic, so it might not sound how I want it to sound. And now it's in, okay? And now it's in. So after doing this, you know, written shot list, well, kind of interpretation of it, I go ahead into the computer and I make the actual one by one shot list. I have to wake up at like 6 a.m. tomorrow because my first audition is at 8 a.m. Holding nine auditions tomorrow from 8 to 2 p.m. It's about to be lit because you know that's the last day of auditioning and I'm gonna see who is actually gonna get this these parts. So that's exciting and that's all I gotta say for today. So hopefully the focus isn't horrible. It might be and I'm sorry but usually I have like okay focus so I hope you guys forgive me. Love you. Hey y'all. So I made the decisions today and I emailed everybody who got the part. Now that hard part was um freaking telling people that they didn't get the part, which I haven't done yet because I'm a coward sometimes. <sighs> I have anxiety a little bit because you know this is like decision making is so hard for me. And these this decision I didn't even ask my friends, I didn't even ask my boyfriend. I'm just like, boom, and that is that. And then I just did it. But now it's like <laughs> after it's like making me breathe heavy. I don't know. Um. I'm sure I'll be fine. 
I just hope I chose the right people and I just hope I don't hurt anybody's feelings because I know how it feels to be rejected and I don't want to reject anybody so that's where I'm at today I did that sent out the emails I closed the laptop because I can't look at it anymore and I guess I'll just continue my shot list hopefully I get to finish it today I really wanted to hang out today but good thing I didn't because it's raining so it's just a good day to spend at home I watched one episode of Orange is the New Black even though I'm supposed to be freaking doing my own work but whatever I'm gonna get back to the shot list right now and I'm nervous guys like you know once you like really have actors for it it's like when shit really is becoming real and it's like it's scary it's nerve-wracking not only is the thought of fear scary but the thought of success is sometimes scary like it's a great thing i know but i'm scared eh, heck. i'm excited i'm nervous i'm happy i'm the happiest i've been in a minute so let's keep it going happy birthday tomar i love you. i love you tomar and happy birthday i'm sorry i'm not there with you but my web series calls regular calls anyways guys i'll talk to y'all later and be creative ain't nobody coming to see you otis that's right